Hey everyone, Dr. Soren here, and I just want to do a short video. I've been telling people about this video, and I figured I'd put it online so then people can watch it and people can actually go look at the data for themselves. This is data from the CDC. Let me uh, just show you here. The uh, This is from the um, uh, CDC website, uh, cdc.gov here. You can see this is called excess deaths associated with COVID-19. And on this, <coughs> they put a little Tableau file here. So let's uh, look at the Tableau file, okay? So we're gonna look at Tableau here. If we look at the whole United States as a whole, this is weekly deaths from all causes. So this is kind of cool that it just shows you, so you know people argue if they label it COVID, don't label it. Well, this is just deaths. If you died of cancer, if you died in a car accident, a drug overdose, this is counted on here. So this is for the whole US. Now what you see is you do see this COVID spike over here. This little orange line represents the averages of what we would expect uh, to see every season. And the death rate goes up every winter, as you can see there. But what's interesting is that uh, you see the spike of the COVID here, but you also saw a spike here. In January of 2018, uh, December of 2017. So, <clears throat> if we look at the number of excess deaths, so there's a certain number of deaths that are expected every year, and so this is the number exceeding that threshold. So, in New York City, you can see this is where the majority of the deaths happen in New York City, and then New Jersey, and then New York State, and then Pennsylvania, Michigan, Massachusetts. So, you're seeing all these clustered there in the Northeast. So that's where the majority is. If you look down here, the rest of the states, uh, you know, minimal increase in the number of deaths. And so if we look at the numbers, uh, like I'm in Idaho, so let's check out Idaho. Um, you see there's no real, you know, pattern. You do see a spike here, but you saw a spike here in 2019. You saw a spike here in 2018. You saw a spike here <coughs> in 2017. So. Uh, so there's no huge spike. We can look at Washington uh, next door to us here. So again, you saw a huge spike here in the winter of 2016, 2017, which is greater than the spikes that you've seen here. Now, the only thing is you are seeing this later in the season, whereas normally you would see this in the winter. So we would expect to be spiking around here. So, um, and then we can even look at California um so let's look at california here <clears throat> so you see again same spike here but you know there's a greater spike here in the winter of 18 and a substantial spike which looks like it's higher than these here and that was in the winter of 2016 to 2017. so to me that's all encouraging uh information about how this is spreading and hopefully with summer coming on it's going to slow down um, you know, New York State, New York City has been hit super hard. This is New York State. I mean, you see this massive uh, um, increase. And if you look at New York City, wow, even more. So this is a huge increase. So those areas have been hit super duper hard. But uh, thankfully, um, in a lot of the U.S., uh, we haven't had, uh, it hasn't hit that bad and it hasn't been uh, super severe. So just want to share that data from the CDC. Thought it was very interesting. I'll post a link below if you want to look at the data for yourself. Have a great week. Thank you for watching.